inside these precious vials is a map to defeating the coronavirus. But you probably wondered, what's all this other liquid in the vial? Our sources, Dr. William Moss, a vaccines expert from Johns Hopkins University, Dr. Bruce Walker, an immunology expert from the Harvard Medical School, and the CDC. The briefing document that the company submitted to the FDA that you can get online actually have all the ingredients listed. Like Dr. Moss says, it's all out in the open. This is a list of the active and inactive ingredients for the vaccines. But what does it all mean? Let's start at the core. All three vaccines have a genetic map to show your body how to create immunity. For Pfizer and Moderna, it's mRNA. For Johnson & Johnson, it's a spike protein. All vaccines have some kind of vehicle in which they're delivered. The vehicle for the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines is a nanoparticle. Basically mRNA, some fats uh, that basically protect the RNA. Johnson & Johnson's vaccine uses a non-replicating virus as its vehicle. So. What's the rest of this liquid in the vial? And then it's just these kind of salts, uh, salt solutions or buffer solutions, basically water and salt. It's a solution that's partly um, salt water and partly something called polyethylene glycol. Which, according to our experts, is standard for vaccines. Both of our experts say that uh, these are actually vaccines that don't stay in your system all that long. Dr. Walker said, for example, take the mRNA vaccines. Those only stay in your body for about a day or two. With your Verify, I'm Matt Gregory. Tony, 